Oh, look at this mess. Remember that thing down there? Woo! Welcome back, guys. It's Chris here with another Xserve raid video. Don't mind all the old crap and boxes piled up with stuff because I have a cat that has pica and loves to chew on everything. So I have to take all my boxes from everything I ever buy and I stack them up so he can't get behind there and eat everything. So what do we got going on today? So last week, I think I was on the 20, I don't know, 22nd, 23rd, uh, one of my watchers said, commented on one of my Xserve raid videos when I was uh, going over the setup of, you know, how it's fiber up to here and he's like, hey man, cut open those cables, they're not fiber. They're copper. Like, no way, man. They're fiber. They had G-Bix on them. They were 850s. Looked like multi-mode, but lo and behold, so I did it. I cut them open. What was it? It's copper. 10 meters, maximum distance, copper. I guess because Apple said, hey, we can make fiber cheap over copper. Is that even fiber? No. So, hey, what did I do? Um, well, Tuesday, 17th, um, I, I moved it all to single mode so it's actually single mode fiber now um, there are some G bits you can get they are called I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this I'm going to try and get this zoomed in properly la 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 Finisar 1319P1BTL a left side and a right side on my array right this is on the Xserve that are my Power Mac server. I call it an X serve for some reason, but it's not. So on my Power Mac server, it's a G5 Dual 2.0. Um, its brother next to it is the same thing. Um, so anyway, I went and I got these multi-mode cables, and I did multi-mode first. It works, but then I just put single modes on. So I got these trip. Where are they at? Uh, la, 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 la. Trip lights. These are LC to LC single mode cables uh they are nine one two five so and the multi modes are what are they uh 62.5 125 three meter um so i replaced them but now we're going to do something even cooler we're going to do this this is a brocade it is a 16 port fiber switch anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in. Why? Why would you do a brocade, Chris, you moron? Do you really need all that stuff for your house? No. Do you want to do that stuff for your house? Yes. If I take those two, pull them into the brocade, I can use the fabric and push using only one cable to here and one cable to here and still see both volumes. In theory, that's the idea. So let's get this SOB broken down here, take it apart, we're going to get rid of the fiber in it right now. I'm going to use one fiber, single mode from this, to the brocade, which maybe I'll put right here. I don't know if it's deep enough to hold the weight of this 30-pound server. Mm, I don't know. I might put it on the shelf underneath the monitor. What do you think of that? Up there better? Might keep the cat away from it and give me a little keyboard stand. Okay, so, so we'll take all this apart and we'll be right back. Watch this magic. Wow! Check that out. Okay, so as you can see, uh, these yellow guys are the uh, yeah fiber cables. So if you don't mind a wiggle, I'm gonna take the camera out of this little tripod thing somehow. There we go. I'm gonna show you what we got. So as you can see, the server still runs left and right side. All right back of the power Mac now I'm gonna add some additional light here with this massive flashlight I got it might be too bright I think it's too bright I'll give it some ambient all right so here are the two fiber uh, modules the SFPs the single mode fiber um, activity lights I always got confused as to what was what. Apologies for the movement, but you can see I I made it a little simple 
label lower, upper, so I knew which one on the back of these was what. So I just wanted to thank the user of that DRH who commented. And uh, you know, if I would have read, I would have said the same thing. I actually have two more sets of these cables. He said he had a bunch too. And there you are. And let me find the one that I cut. Um, God, where the hell is it? I think it's in my box of crap. I don't know. Anyway, you know, hey, you like hard drives? Brrr. So that leads me into another video that I'm going to do in a second after I get this one done because I had another request for an update on what's going on on this puppy. Um, yeah, since it's been uh, doing whatever. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Something. Oh, I locked my... Uh, I must have bumped the lock. Ah, I don't have my little stupid wrench thing. Can I turn this with my finger? No. So that's why the orange light's on. That's the lock. This is the alarm light. If I were to push this, see... It would do it, and this is the audible as you let it shut up because I get tired of beeping when it starts beeping. Okay, so uh, let me get this thing powered down, and I'm going to do the brocade thing. So the game plan is this. I'm going to take the fiber that comes out of the raid, right, and I'm going to, where it plugs in to the power max, I'm going to plug it in to the brocade. I'm going to run one single mode cable from the brocade to one of the controllers and see if it shows both volumes. Let me get this set up and we'll see what we got. Point. Okay. Boy, I wish real life could be like that. You just blip stuff in. Let's check this out. So coming in. Wah. We got, I took all the other optics out. So we got three green lights. Uh, they're all set at two gig. Um, that's what the old one was. It's arbitrated loop. We'll get into that crap later. So this is the uh, left side. This is the right side. This is the server. And on the back, you see I just put it in the upper. Blinky blinky. Uh, orange, I had to take the optic out for the other side. And on the server, left and right, you can see my two volumes. Um, but that's it, it's just doing its normal RAID thing. Um, the idea is so I could use a single cable to get both volumes. Yeah, it's an expensive shot to do this, but like I said, this is just for testing purposes only. But yeah, this, this uh, hypothesis is correct. So that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, but this has just been an update on the uh, cables fiber cables for the x -serve. so yeah uh, to the power mac g5 and installing a brocade fiber switch to narrow your fiber count down to one so you can add more servers on if you wish later um, performance wise it seems to work the same both volumes mount on one fiber everything seems to be good I'd like to give a special shout out to that DRH the person who so wonderfully commented on my video that said, hey, you moron, uh, there's copper inside of those cables. They're not fiber, even though they're fiber. And if I would have read, hey, it did say copper, I'm just an idiot. But I don't know everything, so that's what this is about. Uh, not, not knowing everything, but just doing stuff. And it's cool and it's fun, and I hope it helps someone out there. I know this is older technology, but there's not a lot of videos on the XServe RAID or any of these uh, devices I looked so I decided to make them because I have them I've dumped thousands of bucks into these turds and uh, they're still they're still rolling so I hope this helps you guys out there and have a great day and look for my other videos on all sorts of interesting things and I hope this helps you I said that already so have a great day bye